Hello, my name is Jack Dells, Director of Training at Tulsa Welding School, and today we're going to bring you talking about certification tests with flux core in the 2 and 3 and 4G position with a back and strip on 3 8 plate. So let's just kind of go through all the things before we get into the welding about what you need to know. Okay, so first off, always make sure your metal is prepped and the gaps are right. Okay, those are the critical pieces of it. Making, taking time and making sure that your metal is right the gaps are right and all your settings are correct. So once you make sure that you're, you've prepped your metal and you got everything set on your metal wise, then let's talk about the machine. Okay, you're gonna have your machine turned on. And like I said, we're gonna run at 22 uh, volts, 20, somewhere in that range, but we're gonna run here at the school at 22 volts. And then I got my wire speed set up around about 225 on the wire speed. So always take your time and practice a couple beads before you even get started, before you even tack your pieces together. Run you a couple beads, get you a scrap piece of metal and run a couple, make sure that machine's dialed in and it's running the way you want it. So make sure you get your amperages and bolts right. And then also check your gas, okay? You also wanna make sure that you're running with your gas and make sure the right gas that you're gonna run, whatever the CO2 or 75 or 25 or whatever gas mixtures that that, that company's running. Make sure that your gas is on, and I usually set mine around about 25 to 30 CFH. So it, it, it's really up to you. I don't think you need more than that unless you're in a windy condition. But here in the school, we can run about 25 and it's perfectly fine. So we went over the machine, went over the gas, went over the prep of the metal. Then it really just comes down to making the weld. And when you're making the weld, it's all about uh, your travel speed and watching the puddle. Watch that puddle and watch what it's doing and control that puddle. Uh, and then also, like I say, just take your time on it. Always be comfortable. The ABCs of welding, you know, always be comfortable. Take your time, relax. It's just one pass at a time, and that's all it is. And uh, as, as we go through these welds, you're going to get an opportunity to see these welds. I'm going to weld them out for you, and you can see how I put my body position, my where I put my beads in there. So um, that's pretty much it, kind of, and we're going to get started. So let's, let me get these tacked up, and we'll get started. Today we're going to bring you another certification test in the horizontal position, the 2G, with a flux core. Why do you run flux core over 7018? Well, the reason why we would like to run flux core over 7018 is because it has, has a higher deposition rate. And you can just weld nonstop with it. I mean, you can see we have a 33-pound roll of, of wire back here, so we can just weld and weld and weld with it. And so it's a little bit faster than 7018, so a lot of places run flux core. And so we want to take the time today to show you a little flux core uh, 2G certification test. And so what's going to happen today is I've got my plate all set up here. I've got a quarter inch gap, got my back and strip on. And so what we're going to do is we're going to run us a couple beads in here and get us some nice uh, root pass in and then fill it all up and cap it out. We'll take it over, we'll cut some strips out of it, and uh, we'll bend it and we'll see how it goes today. So uh, join me as we weld out a 2G flux core with a back and strip on 3 8 plate. Everybody ready? Everybody good? All right, I'm welding. Okay, we got a nice uh, first pass in there. Everything's looking good. We tied in to both sides. Got a nice clean bead in there. And we're gonna go ahead and start filling it up, running multi-passes. We're gonna run stringer beads in here, starting from the bottom up. And uh, we got multiple passes here, so we're gonna keep it going.
Yeah, and the reason why you always put the bottom bead in first, it's just like building a house and building anything, really. You always build it from the ground up. You know, you don't want to put your bead in on the top because then it wants to sag down. And if you try to run the other bead in between there, a lot of times it will get the uh, trap slag in there or cold roll in there, won't get fusion in. So anytime you're welding, you always work from the bottom up. Okay, we got a nice and filled up flush. We're gonna go back now and put our cap on. Before you put your cap on, you always wanna make sure that you leave your beveled edge down on the bottom and on the top. That gives you a nice guide to making it nice and straight and uniform. So always try to leave your beveled edge just there, you know, just a 16th or so just before flush. Um, and that will help you give a nice uh, bead to follow, a nice line to follow and keep it straight and uniform. So try not to overfill it, just get a nice filled up flush and that way you can put a nice clean cap on.
Okay, now we have welded out a 2G flux core all the way out on 3 8 plate with the backing strip. We ran it at uh, 22.4, 22.5 on the volts. We ran it at uh, 225 on the wire speed. Okay, so let's just recap on this weld here, just where we can make sure that you're prepared to take this test. So one, make sure that your gap and land is correct. Okay, make sure that your uh, preparation is correct. Then also make sure you got your machine set on the right. Before you even strike up on your piece, make sure your machine and your amperages, uh, your voltage is set right. Also make sure your gas is set right. We got it on about 25 to 30 CFH. Um, like I said, that's plenty. And then also like when you make sure whenever you run your first pass in there that you're fusing in to all three plates, you know, your backing strip and your two bevels. Uh, like I say, make sure those are all burning in nice and smooth, nice and easy. Then once you get past with that, you'll start with the bottom and you'll run a pass along the bottom, not all the way on the beveled edge, right up in there, overlapping the bead. And then you know, as you work up the plate, sometimes you're going to have to change your gun angle. You can't always just run it at a downward angle. You're going to have to kind of lean it back because the bevel's sloping up a little bit. So you got to kind of lean it back so you get the right angle and it's fusing in there all the right way. So uh, just remember that as you're going along, it can't always be in the downward angle. You know, as you move up the plate, so does your gun angle. You have to change it just slightly as you're going more and more up the plates where you get the right angles going in there. But with time and practice, and if you come see us at Tulsa Welding School, we'd be glad to help you out. Looking forward to uh, working with you and answering your questions. And thanks for watching. Have a great day. Hey everyone, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something today. And if you want to stay up to date and get tips and tricks to become a better welder, then subscribe to our channel. And if you would like to learn even more right now, click on our video. Thank you and we'll see you next time.